family theme, Don't Stop Believing, to the jolly old man in red. Believing in Santa is the topic on the table. So moms, parents out there, if you don't want little ears to watch or listen, now might be the time to politely send them out of the room. The white beard, the red suit, and the presents, those are just some of the reasons that kids believe. And we talked to a few of Santa's biggest fans. Here's what else they had to say. Makes them in his workshop and then he wraps them up and then puts them into a big bag and then he puts the bag onto his sleigh. He opens the door by going through the chimney. He parts his sliding board and he walks in. He drops the bag of toys down your chimney. He has a beard. He, he wears glasses. He wears red coat and he lives in the North Pole. A uh hat, -huh. a red coat, glasses, and black boots. Ooh, that got heavy part of the video game. A beach ball, a camcorder, iPod, and a phone. A robot walking pony. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. What is a robot walking pony? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I didn't know if there was a toy out there I wasn't aware of. But that's adorable. That is adorable. That's what we absolutely love about the holidays. So, so why? Cute. Why would you want to kill the crush on Santa? Why not just let everyone just keep believing? I'm so in favor of that. And so we have to put that question to an expert today. Therapist Julie Hanks joining us with some advice. Okay, Darren, most of actually the parents on our staff say, what's the big deal? Crush on Santa all you want. There are some people out there, though, who say there's an honesty factor that gets a little uncomfortable with their kids. Yeah, there are. And it was funny, I posted this on Facebook, and there there were people who were kind of fighting on my wall. I was like, you guys. <laughs> They're fired up. Yeah. Don't say there's not a Santa, I believe. And I'm like, okay. So people have really different views on kind of the right way to approach this you know do you keep your kids believing and really there's no right way every family has to decide some people are like you know it's about the birth of Christ we're, we're, we're teaching that's a story some people are like no keep it going forever till they're teenagers <laughs> so there's really no right way to do it but there actually is some interesting research on this topic. Did you know that? No, tell us now. <laughs> now that we know there's some scientific research involved there's in this. There's actually quite a bit. I was, I was impressed. This is where she says, well, the elves of the North Pole have found. It's <laughs> 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 really a Santa Zell's report. You know, um, no kids stud in this one study reported being angry with their parents for lying. Don't say lying. That sounds so harsh. Well, for, for, for continuing and they the also magical got, part of the season. They okay? also got that it was not a malicious um, sure. story. Yeah. They, kids got that, and they weren't upset about it for the most part. So I think, you know, people who, if you're scared about, ah, I don't want to lie to my, not lie, but <laughs> fib, white lie to my child, you don't have to worry about it that much. Um, but you, I don't think it's good to go overboard. Mm -hmm. I mean, once they're really starting to question, don't, I mean, somebody posted that they threw a life-size Barbie wrapped up on the roof and like, oh, look out here, Santa forgot it. I <laughs> like, like that idea. I love the creativity behind these parents. You know, I think you can go overboard. <laughs> okay, so, all right. Are you hinting at something there? Okay. Do you, I'm, I'm, do you want to need to call me? Like, your kids will probably need you to come. You can hide your life-size Barbie in my house. She'll never know. Just She'll never know. I don't actually own a life-size Barbie, okay? No. <laughs> that would be a whole that's another, topic. That's another segment. We're going to get to that on a different subject. <laughs> okay, what about when the doubt starts to set in, though? There's no right or wrong way. I right, get that right. totally on board. But five or six or seven, the doubt starts to set mm -hmm. in. How does a parent handle that? Well, I think it's it's really important, like you said, to remember that developmentally, between five and seven, their, their cognitive um, skills are going to sharpen, and they're going to be like, wait a second. How? to see visit everybody in one night that really can happen they're starting to look at the concrete observable Evidence. facts like instead of I fantasy had a in my house who was just in distress that I didn't have a fireplace like, <laughs> you're not getting any know presents say, right right so I asked my nine-year-old he's kind of on this yeah. in this fence yeah he and I said I just said tell me about Santa and he said do you mean do I believe or not oh. mm, first thing I, out of his mouth. <laughs> he said 
I think you guys would have a pretty hard time hiding all those presents from us. And I don't think you would leave it in the middle of the night and go buy them on Christmas Eve. But I don't believe in the tooth fairy. <laughs> so I was like, and I just said, okay. <laughs> so he, he's kind of using his logic. It's like, well, this, so yeah, watch for that. And then you want to answer questions that are in simple and concise ways. In a way, it's kind of like the sex talk, right? You don't want to give them too much information. They may be like, where do babies come from? It's like, oh, but they may just be like, oh, you know, from my tummy. Okay, great, let's go. Moving on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you don't want to go, well, we've really been, you know, telling you this story this whole time, and it's not true. So answer it simply. You can keep it simple. You mm -hmm. can keep it concise. Right. There are people, we used to have uh, somebody who works on our staff, yeah. who never even got into the Santa thing. Never told their kid, never even started the whole <laughs> I story have a of Santa. The same thing. Yeah, so, is, is that good? Is that bad? Well, What's your thought? Well, I, I don't, again, it's not good or bad, but I just reminds me of this funny uh, Facebook comment that I got from my friend Stephanie Cannon. She said, we, we did that. We said, this is a, it's not, you know, Santa's not real. It's a kind of a legend. It's a story. And th her kids would not believe her. <laughs> They're like, no, oh. you're totally lying to us. So she was wanting to develop this trust and honesty. They totally thought that her, the parents were lying to them until they were about 10. <laughs> like, oh, you were telling us the truth the whole time. At the end of the day, do you sometimes find it's harder on the parents than it is on the child to yeah, resolve that dilemma? That is an interesting um, thing that the, the Santa research has said that, that kids are kind of pleased when they find out and they feel like, ooh, I'm in on the secret. And a lot of families um, that I've talked with actually capitalize on that. Mm -hmm. You know, like now you're the elf. But parents experience a lot more sadness than the kids actually do. Sure. You know, because it, I think it represents the end of this magical thinking of childhood. And, and in a way it really does. And yeah. so it's okay to be, to be sad about it. I have never told any of my children as far as I know, well, and most, the 20-year-old 20, the 20 year old still believes because he has what? never heard it from me, okay? Most kids will figure out on their own about seven. They'll kind of put the pieces together. And it's not a big aha moment for most kids. It's just kind of this gradual, like, yeah. this really couldn't actually happen. Right. And so I think, I think that's fine to never... It allows them to hold on. on to a little bit of the magic while they slowly slide into reality. And I remember being yeah. that age yeah. Yeah. and kind of like, I hope it's true. And kids who actually knew there's no Santa, can mm -hmm. I say that? Mm -hmm. on? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they still liked the idea and chose to still believe. I love it. It's only a problem when your 20-year-old missionary doesn't get the presents <laughs> that he's thinking. Oh, no, I got to me. I gotta send him a life size Barbie this year, don't I? <laughs> Good advice, Julie. <laughs> oh, we'll be right back. <laughs> Thanks, Julie.